Hey guys, what's up? I'm here to do a uh, another uh, trailer re trailer reaction video, and um, hopefully uh, this will turn out good. This is for Bumblebee. There's actually two trailers. I will provide a link down below for the international one. It shows a little bit more, but I'm gonna focus on this one that was brought out yes. <coughs> Excuse me. That was brought out yesterday. Um, so let's check this out in three. Oh, I'm trying to check, make sure something is on. In three, two, one, now. Is our female lead. I'm Charlie Watson. Charlie Watson. I'm 18. Today, actually. Is the beetle oh. for sale? Pure's kid. Oh, he just gave it to her. Happy birthday. Oh, that's a this this is actually pretty good. Oh, there he is. One thing I've heard a lot of people say is um, how it's kind of a mixture of what you see in the Bay films you? and very nostalgic 80s coming out around no Christmas. No idea where he came from. No idea. Well. Here's the deal. There's John Cena. People can be terrible about things they don't understand. From now on, the only person you can show yourself around is me. Oh, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, they actually expanded no, that good, scene. Thanks. The international film. Oh, let's use the ship to find a couple changes. There's a war raging on our planet. If this criminal the isn't Sabotron. found, that war may Ooh. find its way here. Is there anyone who can help you? Based in San Francisco Bay Area, you know backyard. Oh, who would be? Yeah, you're his family, Charlie. Ooh, that's who he is. <laughs> there it is! They're calling him yes. on me. Yes. I've seen firsthand. G These things really one are. done right. Yes. G one done there right. There is only one way to end this war. You must protect Earth and its people. Take it down. Oh, this is looking really My good. Bob Shaw, I wonder if he's going to look good. Like You've got me. You got the trans show in there, that's what and I I'm like. I'm not going anywhere. I love that. Love that. God, I'm so screwed. Okay. Yes, this is this is done right this is done perfectly right this is how phantom and wanting transformers live action cgi whatever you want to call it for years for 11 years fans have been wanting this and now we're finally getting it i love it travis knight uh from what i've heard from people like angry cho black nerd comedy comic book cast uh comic book cast too have all said basically the same thing rodimus primal has said the same thing. This guy, Travis Knight, is a diehard Transformer fan. He loves the Transformers. And obviously you could see that love that he has because this is, I mean, the designs, I mean, Bumblebee's design is very much a hybrid of what we got in the Bay films, but of what we know as fans growing up with G1, uh, you know, it, it's got it's got that design. It's a, it's a hybrid, like I said, of what you you know him as from the uh, from the Michael Bay films, but it's a hybrid of that along with the nostalgic G1 design of the Beetle car that he is. So obviously, it seems Bumblebee has been around for a while, and everybody's wondering, is this a prequel? Is this a soft reboot? I think it's a combination of both. I think it's a prequel soft reboot. And I can only say this, um, who, who did a timeline, I think, uh, IGN did a timeline a, a couple years ago, 
they're going to have fun doing another one or doing an updated version in, while including this. So that's pretty cool. Now, I did say that there was an international trailer. So I'm going to try to pull that up. And where am I right now? Um, I'm at 5 minutes 10 seconds. So we're going to look at the international trailer in 3 Two, one, this was uploaded by comicbook.com. Let's open it up. That looks like Starscream, but people are saying it's something else, but... We're obviously fighting with Bumblebee there. Drop, drop the right of a cliff. The memory's core failing. Oh, we see, we see what he did. He took the film right there after... That probably opens the film. That's probably going to open the film. I want the beetle. I'll work here every day for a year. Yours, kid. Hey, he just like I said, he just gave it to her. Morix. Do you speak? You sound like a bumblebee. Oh, well, he got his name, Bumblebee. Only person you can show yourself but that's kind of a coincidental. Let's say we're driving and all of a sudden somebody's there, hide! <laughs> serious? <laughs> Let me see if I can fix it. Oh, here we go. I pray this message finds you. Our war rages on threat. The voice mentioned it's over here. More of an extension of that scene. Back on Cybertron. The criminal from our world is hiding on yours. Our common enemy is in front. We'll burn the whole planet to cinders. Yeah, they're in the sea. Take your feet up. My back feet! Oh, showdown between Bumblebee and Cena. B127. Oh, you must protect Earth and its people. Thank you. Do not run! She ran. The comedy doesn't do that. Extension on the explosion of the last trailer. Bumblebee. What have you done? <laughs> I am so screwed. Okay, so now this trailer here, this extended one, this international one, gave us more, more, uh, uh, more of an idea of what we're going to get, more of an extension of what was in the first one. So I like that. I really, really do. I do like that. And again, the one thing I am going to uh, comment, the same thing a lot of people have been saying, it is great to finally see G1 done right. You know, and again, Travis Knight is a huge Transformers fan. So to see that love and passion he has for the Transformer franchise come out here, I really appreciate it. And I know I'm not the only one. So, yeah. Oh, this is what I've been waiting for. This is what I and everybody that grew up with Generation 1 or love for Generation 1 has been waiting for. I grew up with Generation 1 from 19 freaking 84. So I love it. I mean, you, everybody wants to know what MLP, FIM, MLP G4, My Little Pony G4 means to people. Look at the passion shown in these reaction trailers like mine, Angry Joe, Comic Book Cast, Black Nerd Comedy, Andre Meadows, the mishmashes of reaction videos. You know, those, react, those mishmash videos that take a lot of reaction videos and put them all together in one video. You know, check theirs out. Check out Tyrus Magnus's. Probably check out Bob's shows when he does it. You will see the level of passion you the level of passion you see coming out of that, and love and appreciation for what's seen in these trailers, is the same kind of love and appreciation the fans have for MLP G4. MLP G4 is like Transformers G1 to them. That's how much it means to them. How much they want to see it done justice how much they appreciate it and that's how we feel when we look at something like this overall 
overall, the it looks good. It looks really good. And again, I think it's a hybrid of a prequel and a soft reboot. You know, it's a it's a prequel basically showing us Bumblebee obviously going through all these different times and going through all these different, you know, transformations, you know, protecting Earth. But we see that this war has been going on while he's been the war between the Autobots and Decepticons and Cybertron has been going on since he left and even before he left. So I like that they're adding in a little bit of what we know as older fans, as G1 fans, you know, the war going on for so long. And, you know, and I'll say, and I said it before, I'll say it again. IGN's going to have a field day doing an updated version of the Transformers timeline. So, overall, I'm, I can't say any more. I can't praise this trailer any more than what I am. As someone that grew up with Transformers since the beginning, I appreciate this. I, along with everybody else, appreciate this. So thank you, Travis Knight, as a fellow fan, for doing this justice. Not saying Michael Bay didn't do anything wrong. You know, he may have had his ups and downs and may have relied more on the explosions and all that and probably didn't have much of a better understanding and, you know, what made Transformers what it is. But you do, so thank you very much. Thank you, and I look forward to seeing this. And if I have to do what I did when I went and saw MLP's movie back last year in October, a year, almost a year ago, next week, if I have to do that, take the day off to go see this on my own, I will. So, that's, I can't say any more than that, guys. This is looking, this looks great, and this looks like a step in the right direction as far as the movie franchise goes. And if the plan is to do other prequels, midquels, one-offs movies down the line, and this is the first step in doing so, I think this franchise is going to, you know, this mo- the movie portion of this franchise is going to be really, um, really in good hands. So that's all I'm going to say, guys. So let me know what you all think down below. Comment if you like. Uh, check out the other trailers. Reactions by Angry Joe and Andre Metal's Black Nerd Comedy, Comic Book Cast 2, uh, possibly Bob's show in the future. Check them all out. And you'll see, again, you'll see the level of passion and excitement you, you get from me and that you see from the MLP fans of this generation of MLP. You'll see it here with them. So let me know what you all think down below. Comment if you like. And I am out.